And I'm going to start with our school schedule and times. So our preschool runs Monday through Thursday, and there's no preschool on Friday. If your child is in the morning class, our morning time is 8.30 to 11.40, and our afternoon class is 12.35 to 3.45. Um, on occasion, we'll talk about this at the end too, um, we may have a snow day or a two hour delay where we will have class on Friday. We will communicate those times to you um, when needed. We do have our littlest general's handbook that can be found on our district homepage. If you need a paper copy, please let your child's teacher know at the beginning of the school year and we'd happily provide one for you. Um, some policies and procedures just to keep in mind during the year. Please contact our secretary, Mrs. Long. She's wonderful anytime, um, but especially on a day when your child will be absent from school. Um, if your child is going to be picked up by an adult that's not on our authorized form, or if you have a change of address or a new phone number. Thanks. A few notable things about our school supply list. Uh, we ask that you send your child with a full-size backpack. Um, that's because we send home lots of art projects. We send a folder um, back and forth between home and school, and it's just nice to have a full-size backpack. Another notable thing is we ask that um, you send a change of clothes in a Ziploc bag. So that's pants, shirt, underwear, and socks in a Ziploc bag with your child's name on it. And that's just because sometimes we have accidents at school or spills during snack time, and it's just nice and convenient to have it right in the backpack. Um, if you have any other questions about the school supply list, feel free to ask. Thanks. All right, I'm going to talk about our Little General's Facebook page. As many of you know, we we do have this. Um, if you don't, you can search Little General's Preschool on our fa on Facebook. This is a different page than we had last year, so just to be aware of that. Um, this is a private page just for the parents of this school year, parents and guardians. So unfortunately, we're not going to accept um, grandparents, but it'll be private just for you. Um, our main intent of this is just to bring you joy. We'll be be posting daily photos um, of what you're doing in the classroom. And we really hope that this can help you with conversations with your child. Um, as we know, you know, three and four year olds might come home and say they did nothing when actually they we have lots of things going on. So this will help you to look through the pictures every day. Also, um, this is a good chance when you see them throughout the year to just save the ones that you like through the year and keep them for your memories. Um, the one thing we do ask is that you don't share the photos on, on your Facebook page of any other um, students. So if you'd like a photo of your child, you can save it and then share it on your own personal page. Um, you can use the messenger, just not for ur any urgent matters. So if you're doing any transportation changes, um, important matters will go through Robin Long in the, at the um, secretary's desk. Um, but if you need to contact us through messenger, just um, start with your teacher's name so that um, because it's a shared page, we have five teachers, we can look at the box and see who the um, message is for. And I think that's all I have for that. The next information is about transportation. So um, for our bus riders, the bus garage is responsible for scheduling pickup and drop off times. Um, information about that will be provided by tomorrow evening in an email. If you do not receive information about busing, please reach out to Mrs. Long at Open House, um, and she will be able to assist you um, in whichever way we need to go with there. Um, important note about busing, an adult must be present to put the child on the bus and put the, take the child off of the bus. They will not um, release a child off of the bus without seeing an adult at the bus stop. For car riders, drop-off time in the morning is from 8.30 to 8.35 and 12.35 to 12.40 for our afternoon students. Um, you'll pull in off of Grant Street, uh, loop around the cars, and then um, we do ask that you stay in your car when you get up to the sidewalk, and one of the Littlest Generals teachers will assist your child out of the car. At the end of your child's school day, pickup time for the morning is 11.35 to 11.40, and for the afternoon, 3.40 to 3.45. You'll loop around the parking lot the same way. A little as general teacher will bring your child to the car, and then you are going to be responsible for buckling. We do have a buckle station at the front of the car line, so you can pull up and assist buckling there. Um, and then 
we, um, we do know that this is a short window for pick up and drop off, but we share our location with um, Tri-County Preschool. So we are very efficient at the car line. So we'll just ask you to give us a few days to learn your cars and to know you, um, and it will be a smooth sailing process. All right, everybody, we um, have snack every day with our littles. Um, so we ask parents to go ahead and provide that snack. Um, we ask you to bring in one snack a month for each class. So um, typically our three-year-old classes have 18 students and our four-year-old classes have 22 students. Um, so we ask that you bring that in along with 100% um, juice uh, for the beginning of each month. Uh, we usually just say the first Monday of every month, um, go ahead and send in that snack. Uh, if it's before or after that date, that's fine too. Um, some healthy snack choices are applesauce, raisins, yogurt, popcorn, goldfish, um, anything that your child likes at home. We also do have mini fridges in our classrooms, so you can send in um, yogurt tubes or cheese sticks that we can refrigerate as well. Um, we love to celebrate birthdays, so you are allowed to send in a birthday snack. Um, please, we just ask that you contact the teacher um, before you send it in. Um, and if you're going to bring in cupcakes, send in the mini cupcakes. Um, the big cupcakes are too big for them. Um, and we also suggest that you could do something else besides a snack, um, maybe send in some birthday hats or um, birthday uh, plates or napkins, something fun. Um, and the last thing is um, your child can bring a water bottle to school that's labeled, but please only send water, um, no juice or punch or anything like that, just water only in the um, water bottles. Um, our important health information, and all of this will come home to you on open house in a packet. So you don't have to remember any or all of this. Um, <laughs> we don't expect that. It will come home for you to look at. Um, our big rule about keeping our preschoolers healthy is our 24-hour policy. Um, whenever in doubt, keep them home for 24 hours. So the kind of three big things that we really um, see a lot is vomiting, diarrhea, and um, fevers. And so it's 24 hours um, from that last symptom. So let's say um, that your, your little one vomits at six o'clock in the evening, and that's the last time they vomited, um, they cannot return the next day. It has to be 24 hours from the last time that they vomited or had diarrhea. Same thing with the fever. Um, they cannot be sent to school with a fever with Tylenol, um, even though Tylenol makes the fever go away. It has to be 24 hours fever fever free without any medication. Um, we share a lot of toys, we share a lot of supplies. So it's just our way of um, keeping those germs away and trying to keep everybody healthy. Um, as far as COVID, um, our current protocol um, is that um, if a student tests positive, they have to be home for five days following a positive test and they can return, but they have to wear a mask for five days um, as long as they're not showing any symptoms. If they are still symptomatic, they should be at home. Um, but if they are done with their symptoms, they can return after five days wearing a mask for five days. And these are just some other um, health information, some other symptoms and things that we would want you to consider keeping your child at home or having them see a physician before returning to school. The big ones, a fever, um, if they have any kind of um, a weird rash, um, severe coughing, vomiting, diarrhea, and um, pink eye. Anything with the eyes going on, we typically do um, send them home to get checked out because pink eye is very contagious. So um, you can kind of read that over, but whenever in doubt, 24 hours, keep them at home. Thank you. This list is our special dates, um, and you will again receive a copy of this at Open House. Um, there are special, um, a couple that I would like you to note. Um, our first day is Wednesday, August 17th. We are going to have a um, Friday in September. September 16th will be a preschool school day. So we will let you know more about that. Um, closer to that, our conferences are on here. Um, we have a special, a couple special days that grownups are welcome into the classroom. So Wednesday, October 26th is our dads and donuts day. And um, Tuesday, 
February or Monday, February 13th is Moms and Muffins. So those are a couple of our favorite days throughout the school year, and they'll be your students as well. Um, we also want to share with you our Littlest Generals website. Um, this website has beginning of the year information. It has contact information for your child's teacher and lots of learning resources. Um, you can scan the QR code there or use the um, website. It can be bookmarked and made into an app on your phone. Um, and we'll also send more information at home about how to access this website um, next week. This year, all preschool students will be screened for speech. This will happen the second week of school and the Tri-County Speech Therapists will be doing it. So um, these speech therapists already are housed within the Early Learning Center um, where our preschool is as well. Um, this is a new procedure for our preschool. It was previously just done by referral only. Um, every parent will receive a feedback form and on that form, it'll say if there's no concerns for your child, if the student needs monitoring or if they're gonna be referred for, um, for speech therapy. So just be on the lookout for this in the next couple weeks. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about tuition. So when is tuition due? The first tuition is due by September 15th and tuition is due September through May on the 15th of every month. Um, you can turn in your tuition at the preschool office to write directly to Mrs. Long or if you would like, you could send it in your child's backpack. The big thing that we ask, though, is it, that it is labeled with the word tuition and your child's name on it as well. Um, the payment options are cash, credit card. You can use the pay schools through the Worcester City School website, or and checks can be made to Worcester City School District. If you pay online, um, you can contact Mrs. Long for more guidance and help regarding that. All right, we have just a few announcements for um, our last slide here. So um, class lists will be posted on the preschool windows tomorrow, Friday, August 12th by 4 p.m. So if you'd like to stop by this weekend and see uh, who your child's teacher is and who is in their class, that will be available. Our open house is Tuesday, August 16th from 4.30 to 5.30. You can enter through the Early Learning Center doors off of Grant Street, um, and then you'll be able to find your child's classroom through there. There is also a picnic on the playground afterwards from 5.30 to 6.30, and we would love to see you all there. There are some important documents coming home the first day of school in your communication folder. One will be the ASQSE questionnaire and the second will be a field trip permission slip. Um, we ask that you complete these and return them to us as soon as possible. Something new that we're doing this year um, we're going to have preschool shirts. So Littlest General's order form shirts are going to be due September 1st and that more information about those will be coming home in your packet at Open House. Uh, we did mention earlier about makeup days. So um, I know I mentioned our first makeup day on Friday, September 16th. And um, we will then make up all snow days and two hour delays. We will communicate um, to you when these are scheduled. Um, for example, if we have a snow day on a Monday, that does not mean that we will have a makeup day that Friday. Um, it depends on what our meeting schedules look like and our planning on Fridays. So we will make sure that you have um, heard when the new when the makeup day will be. Um, busing is like normal on that day, and it is just run like a normal school day. And the last thing we wanted to share um, is about our communication. If something changes like your email address, your phone number or your address, we ask that you please let Mrs. Long know um, as soon as possible so we can stay in communication. I can see that someone has their hand raised, but if you wanna throw your question into the Q&A, I can ask that for the group before we um, depart. But if you have any other questions for us, you can add, put, throw those in there and we're happy to answer them. Mrs. Carpenter, do you wanna answer that question? Is the open house come as you please, or do we all need to be there right at 4.30? Mrs. You're Carpenter, muted. you're muted. You can come anytime between 4.30 and 5.30. We'd love to see you anytime 
during that time. And the next question, Mrs. Hendricks, I'll let you ask this one. When should we bring in school supplies and the first snack? Um, if you're able to bring that at open house, if that's easiest for you, we would love that. If not, the first day of school or just gradually throughout the first week will work too. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. We appreciate your time and that you joined us. Um, thank you, Ms. Mrs. Jacobson, for your kind words. She said you're all amazing. Um, oh, there's one more question. Uh, my child is still not potty trained. How does this work for attending? Mrs. Tolbert, do you wanna answer that one? Sure. Um, so we, um, are, we welcome students we are hoping that they are working on being potty trained. We understand that threes are young and some fours as well um, are still working on that process. So uh, we do ask that you talk to your child's teacher at open house, just to give us a heads up on where you are on the potty training process and how we can be assisting at school. Um, we do require that all students come in underwear. So we, um, don't have um, diapers or pull-ups in the classroom, but um, a child in underwear is great. And we, you know, I teach a three-year-old, I understand that potty training is a, there's a lot to it. So I'm happy to help and assist um, as long as we are all working towards the main goal of being potty trained. All right. Well, we're very excited. I see some of you are very excited. Thanks for the kind words. And we hope to see you all on Tuesday evening at the open house and then on the first day of school on Wednesday. Thank you again for being here and thank you to the preschool staff.